Welcome back, welcome back. This is Ramsey Rizard in the mirror, the reflection show at the International Christian Film Festival. I am here with Ty and Bishop Mackey, guys. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. I'm glad for having you guys here. You guys are the executive producer. Let everyone know what, as far as the executive producer, what do you do? Everything. 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 Everything, <laughs> Everything. Everything as far as from editing, all that stuff? No, we don't get too much into editing. It's okay. Just, it, it, executive producers, guys, it's just pull everybody and everything together. Our job is to find the right producers for the movie, uh, work with those producers to give them the guidance and the direction that we want the movie to go in, uh, help them find directors and right. actors and crew. All the resources. So we're the guys that just manage the resources, you know, people, places, money. <laughs> and let me ask you this question. Uh, Bishop Mackey, what led you to want to be an executive producer? Because it sounds like a lot of responsibility, but what led you to this? It's all good. You know, yeah. So much is given, much is required. Oh my, that is and a I'm powerful. I'm just you know, <laughs> obedient because, you know, um, what, what transpired is that watching a lot of television, I was raised by television. Yeah. Single mother mm. with uh, four children. Mm. And, uh, God raised me through television, not having a father around. So he's been my father through television programs. Mm. And I've learned a lot, the do's and don'ts, and how to be a man, what a man's supposed to do, and things of that nature. And God said, I taught you that way so you can teach others. He taught you that way. He taught me that way. So you can teach others. And little did I know that, you know, back then we had, what, uh, five channels? Yeah, about four or five channels. Oh, wait, five wait, channels. wait. Hold on, back then, wait. I was born in 88. Oh, <laughs> man. You were born in 64. So please educate me on the five channels, the four to five we channels. Five. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so you all, oh, I remember those days. Hey, I remember, man, we were the remote control. <laughs> we're going to change that channel. Exactly. I remember, I remember my dad had a friend who would always, they called him Mr. Albert. Right. Mr. Albert would always come in his station wagon right. and he would pick up TVs in a trash can. Right. Yeah. But he would rebuild them. Okay. And I remember he would bring those TV and we have to ch -ch 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 right. until That's you said shh. And then you put it on one channel and the antenna go up. That's right. And you had a channel. Just like that. Yeah. So that that taught you a lot. Exactly. And how about you, Ty? What inspired you to pursue the executive producer uh, 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 position? Well, you know, I, I think of myself as a writer, mm. first and foremost, okay. that's what I do. I, I, my, my, the last film that went into theaters, I, I, I was the writer for And the, what was the name of the last name film? The name of that movie was A Question of Faith. Oh, my. I wrote the movie A Question, Question of, of Faith. Faith. Uh -huh. So I've always looked at myself as a writer, but after A Question of Faith, I said, you know, I, I want to have a, a bit more control over the Your things content. that I write and yeah. my content. And um, I've been around this business for a while, so I, I think I'm ready and prayed yeah. about it. And God told me, yeah, you're ready. And I decided I'm going to EP and, this. And when did you start this? This for the, the, As far as pursuing this career? Ooh. <laughs> 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 I wrote my first script in 1991. Wow, is that when you had the Mohawk? I, I think that's what Mr. <laughs> Mackie told me. <laughs> okay. I, really I think all the Mohawk had. See, Mr. Yeah. Mackie don't have to worry hey, about anything. Hey, hey, hey. I think the ball head ones are the ones I, that have to reflect. I did have <laughs> hair back. Oh, you did have hair. I was in the military, so yeah. I didn't have a lot, but yeah. I did have hair. But I, I wrote my first script in 1991. Wow, that and, is impressive. Um, and just kept working at it. And, yeah. and as God would do, have it, meeting people along the way that, that helped me and helped me develop what yeah. I was doing and, and brought us to where we are here today. And you guys are sitting here on the reflection shelf. Of course, with, 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 with a good looking guy like me, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. But you guys make me look even better, especially if you're talking about back in 1964. <laughs> you guys are like you're vegans, you're like you don't eat no meat. <laughs> I tear some meat up, man. I tear <laughs> him up. <laughs> I'm tearing up. You know, there's probably somebody tearing up some chicken right That's now, right. laughing, right? Okay. So, you guys are here in this chair, and you're reflecting on the day you first started. What does it feel like to be here at the International Christian Film Festival? And you guys are executive producers. Not just a producer, but the executive producers. Tell me what is going through your adrenaline, your, your emotions right now. It's humbling. It's very humbling to see that. I'm one of those guys that's been there, done that, got yeah. the t-shirt and hat. 
you know, I named my, my ministry of the bishop is called Keeping It Real Lighthouse. Oh, Keeping It Real so Lighthouse. So, with that said, it's keeping it real, the uncompromising word of God, and just to see his power yeah. flow and, and do various things. Um, coming from my, from my background, I would have never seen this happen. Right. But God. But God. And, I, and I he, think everybody he, He's that. a faithful God, and he can use you in spite of yourself. Right. And uh, to be used by him in, in this season is just amazing. Yeah. And, you know, like I said, it goes back to being on the other side where I had to live this thing. Yeah. And see it on, on television and things like that. But yeah. now to be able to project it out there, the Spirit of God. And it's a warfare. Yeah, and it I'm is. glad to be able I consider myself like a, a, a Paul. I used to be Saul. Right. <laughs> but killing Christians. Yeah. But now <laughs> I'm Paul. Serious about kingdom business. Oh, call it, oh call I like that. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. That was a rap line. But some of y'all gotta know Bishop Mackey back in the days was a rapper. Yeah, okay. I, I believe that. I think God's giving me a vision about that. But you said, wait, hold on. Back in the days, you were Saul killing Christians. Right. But today, you are Paul. Yes. Building the kingdom of God business. Yes, sir. Oh, Serious about kingdom. Hold on. We gotta take a moment of silence for those lines. Wow, you killed that. <laughs> That's all good. It's all good. That's all good. Uh, how about you, Ty? What what are you, what's going through your uh, emotions right now? What what are you thinking about mentally? What could you reflect on in this moment that you're appreciative about? Yeah, I mean, Bishop took the words right out of my mouth. This is all a very humbling experience. It really yeah. is. But you know, and not to sound arrogant, but I tell people I knew I would be here across right. the and that's, you know, 30 what, years. Let, let's pick that. That's not arrogance. That's, right. that's confidence. Yes. God for this. Well, that's, that's prayer. Like that's that. prayer. I like that. That's, that's work. I tell people that there's, you can't pray and ask God for something. Right. And then when he gives it to you, you act surprised that it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. I didn't expect this from God. But you know what, though? I think, I think because we're building such a strong relationship with faith every day. Right that it makes us rebuttal that way, right? Yeah, right? right. And, and, and you're sitting there and you're like, oh my God, I can't believe, in your heart you knew it was gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. it's just in his time. But in his time, <laughs> you didn't expect it. Sometimes yeah. sometime it takes yeah. over 40 years, like uh, Moses and them, right? But then sometimes it's like, to today. right, sometimes it's like Joshua, get up. You gotta yeah. lead these people, let's yeah. go, that's right? Problem. There's an instant miracle, right? right yeah. Wow, that's powerful, guys. You know, because there's somebody out there right now that's watching this, whether it's, I always say whether it's 1 o'clock in the morning, 2 o'clock in the morning, right. in the afternoon, maybe somebody could be in the cubicle, and they might have, they might have the desire to be an executive producer like you guys. Bishop Mackey and Ty, I'm going to give you guys a chance to say one positive thing that will uplift them, encourage them, and then back them while you guys are sitting here. What could you tell that person on the other side of this recording? Trust divine guidance, though the source may seem unlikely. God is faithful. He can use a rock. He can use a bush. He can mm. use a neighbor. Right. He can use a tragic situation. But you got to, the Bible says they have not because they ask not. Oh, my. Ask him and you shall receive. He wants to give it to you. You're, you're his child. Right. So he wants you to have the things that you have need of. Ask him. Just in all sincerity, ask God for what you want. I mean, for the things that he has for you. And he will deliver. He will, he's a faithful God. I want to tell you, I'm a living witness. He never, ever fails. Just trust him. And he never fails because Bishop Mackey is still rolling with hair since the 19th century. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what else do you do? <laughs> he never fails. I mean, God, come on. You could have did something with me, Lord. Maybe. <laughs> I don't want to use Beijing's for the rest of my life. <laughs> How about you, Ty? What would you like to say for those who are watching? Yeah, I, I just tell people to remain righteous, mm. and I, you know, I, I tell my my sons that you know, not all people are good people. Right. Not all deeds are good deeds, and not all money is good money. Amen. Right. Amen. So it's easy for us to get trapped with, with around people who don't have God or your best interests in their hearts. Right. Uh, people throw money at you that's just not good money that can right. get you in trouble. So uh, I just tell them, look, remain righteous. You know what God wants from you. You know what's right yeah. and what's wrong. And those are the times when you may have to make very hard choices and decisions to walk away from something yeah. that's sitting there that looks good, that yeah. it's, a, it's, it's everything that you think you wanted. Yeah. 
but it's everything that's not righteous for you. Right. Mm. It's so, everything that's not righteous for you. That's right. And what film do you guys have here at the International Christian Film Festival that's showing? Well, we don't have a film here. Okay. I'm actually speaking at 5 o'clock today on on how to write a Christian film for production. And that's powerful. Mm -hmm. My last, the last film I wrote, A Question of Faith, came out in theaters, but last year, September, just came out. And, and congratulations Netflix. on that, because I wasn't there, but sure. as long as you were in my presence, hey, I want to <laughs> congratulate you. Thank you. Thank you. That's Thank good you. work. Uh, just came out on Netflix, and now we're starting our next film, June 4th. Okay. I said networks, Netflix. Netflix. <laughs> uh, uh, our next film, uh, My Brother's Keeper, we okay. start June 4th, starring T.C. Stallings, yeah. Joey Lawrence, Greg Allen Williams. So we start production on that yeah. June 4th in Columbus, Georgia. And hopefully you guys have a talking segment. If you need me, I'm there. <laughs> yeah. All right. right. Wherever you guys are, Atlanta, <laughs> Georgia, wherever. Yeah. Okay. Let you guys let me know. I bring my wife. She loves to travel. Like, there you go. Right, babe? You love to travel a lot, right? Yes, she do. She <laughs> okay, okay. And how about you, Bishop? Uh, you also partake into the Brothers Keeper. You guys are working together to together. build this monster piece. Yes. And you know what? As an encouragement to those who are watching, when you work together as a team, you can build something that is stronger than you do. That's right. Yes. When God created the left hand, he also thought about the right hand because it brings balance. So don't try to compromise the situation to make yourself look good, because then you can miss out on great opportunities like these gentlemen here. All right, guys, this is Ramsey Rosard. I got Bishop Mackey and Ty here, the executive producers on The Reflection Show in the Mirror. And remember, as I always tell you, your experience matters. Thank you for watching. What happens when a member loses someone and they need God's word to bring them comfort? Who's going to give a turn? You? I win. Are you still going to take me to my basketball game? Of course. I promise this time. daughter's about to sign her first major recording deal. Let's just do it once more, okay, everybody? Dad, we've rehearsed it three times. Just do it for me. Okay, once more, everybody. Thank you. This is a great college, Mommy. But it's so far. It's so expensive. Bag burning the midnight oil, I see. You're still at the office. This is a lot on my plate. You never kept your promises to him. She still has his headaches. Yeah, you just go through and do your best. We're gonna get a record deal today. You are not going home today or anytime <laughs> soon. We want a second opinion and we won't get one if we have to change hospitals. No, we want do another not need doctor. another doctor. Now, but I ask that you send us a message. The only thing me and Teresa have been doing is trusting the Lord. Look where it's gotten us. David, come on. No, please. Do you still believe in your Lord and Savior? Will you stop questioning your faith and ask Him for forgiveness? David, we're men of God. That means we made a commitment. All of the answers to our good fortunes and our suffering can be found. 